Hey guys, today I have a video for you on how I do my eyeliner and I also have an unboxing and first impression of the Unique Moodstruck 3D Fiber Lashes. So this was actually sent to me by a lady named Myra Gonzalez and I want to thank you so much for that and I will definitely link her down below and where you can purchase that below. So thank you so much for sending me that, I really appreciate it and let's get right on to the video. Alright, so the eyeliner that I'm going to be using today is the Master Precise Eyeliner from Maybelline. And I believe this is discontinued, but I think you can still buy it on um, the Maybelline website. But the first thing that I am doing is just drawing a line straight across all of my lash line. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just an outline and a baseline for whenever we start doing the wing. So there I'm doing that. And then for my actual wing, I'm going to draw the line first straight out to where I want it to be. I'm sorry for the camera focusing, I'm still working on that. And then I'm going to connect that down to where my lash line is and you'll see this better on the other side. I'm very sorry about the camera. And then after that I'm going to just round out what is left on my eyelashes. So from the inner corner to the wing. So now that I have kind of the baseline of what I want to do, I'm just going to straighten out that line and I'm drawing that from the outer corner all the way to the base of my lash, just wherever that ends up. Then I'm going to go in and fill in that little triangle that I left blank and just kind of fill in any blank spots that are still skin. And there I am just straightening the line up again. And it's a lot easier to do eyeliner if you do it in one stroke. Try not to do multiple little strokes. That tends to make the line a little bit um, maybe jagged and not straight. So here I am drawing the baseline on my upper lash and just on the bottom like third of my outer third of my bottom lash line. And then I'm going to go in and draw the line for my wing. So just a straight line, and then I am just coming in and from that straight line, going down to the base of my lash line, drawing that towards my inner corner of my eyeball. Then I'm going to fill that in, and then I'm going to thicken that up just a bit with drawing the straight line again. Winged eyeliner is one of those things that it can get tricky, and if you don't have a lot of practice at first, it can tend to look not exactly how you want it to be or maybe just not straight so don't get discouraged if the first time you do it it's not perfect because mine still aren't perfect and I have some practice so just keep at it and keep trying and don't give up and I'm sure that you will get to the place that you want to be. So now I am on to the lashes, so I'm curling my eyelashes first and then I'm going to apply the mascara that was sent to me and I'm very excited about this. So um, in this little package, here's the package what it looks like and there's little directions in there and it comes in like this little pouch, it's so cute and you can put both of the little mascara tubes in there. So here's the little directions it comes with and then you open up the little pouch and there is two little mascara tubes in there. One of them is the fiber part of the lashes, and then the other part is the black primer and gel. So here is the gel, and I really like how you can see through them and see what is in them. That kind of helps to see how much you have left and just like which one is which. So there they are. 
and here's what the bottles look like. They are so pretty. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is what it says. It says to apply the black gel first. So I'm applying that to my top and bottom lashes on both sides. So after applying that to my top and bottom lashes, I guess I only did one eye at a time, but then I'm going to be applying the fiber part of the mascara. This is going to make my lashes look really long, since, especially since I have thin lashes. So I'm just applying that to my top and bottom lashes. And this made them look so much longer and fuller and thicker than my actual lashes. So I loved that because I'm usually applying two to three mascaras. So now I'm just going over that again with the black gel to just hold that all in place. And then I'm going to be cleaning up my face and doing that on the other side. So here's the black gel. And then I'm going to apply the fiber parts of the mascara and then go back over that with the black gel. So here is the finished look. I really like what this um, mascara did to my lashes. It made me almost look like I had false lashes on. So I really appreciate you sending that to me, Myra. Thank you so much. And her link is down below in the description. All of these opinions are my own. I was not paid to do any of this, so all of these opinions are my honest opinions. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will have more videos coming up in, within the week. Um, be sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and give me a thumbs up if you liked this video, but I will see y'all next week. Thank you.